Okay, one more quick little video here just to talk about the difference between C sub P and C sub PK. Those are the two different process capability indices, right? So last time we talked about our field goal kicker, and here we've got, again, you know, kind of diagrammed out um, a bunch of kicks. Again, let's say we made this guy kick the ball 20 times, and we kind of plotted out where each, um, where each kick kind of crosses the goal line, right? You can see most of them are centered, you know, right in here. There's some that are further away from the, from the average or the, you know, the cluster here in the middle. And then there's a few that are, you know, really pretty far out, right? And, um, you know, we fit, we figured out the, the standard deviation and the standard deviation was, was three, right? Based on the average distance between any one of these points like this one here and the average, right? Um, and six standard deviations is, is 18 feet, right? So we know that pretty much all of this player's kicks are going to fall within nine feet on either side of the average, right, or in this band, of, which is a total of, about, of, of 18 feet wide, okay? And we also knew that the goalposts are 18 feet apart. So, you know, theoretically, every one of this player's kicks should go between the goalposts. Right. Um, I say theoretically because you know we're we're assuming that the average kick kind of lines up with the middle of the goalpost, right? Um, and that's you know that's kind of a pretty big assumption, right? Uh, it doesn't always happen. Um, so you know we're kind of assuming a picture that looks like that, right? And, you know, if that's the case, then, then we said before that the process capability index would be equal to 1, and uh, the other process capability index, C sub PK, would also be equal to 1, okay? We could also have a situation where, you know, it's basically the same exact distribution of kicks here in the green, okay? And let's not even think about where the goalposts are right now, okay? Exact same distribution of kicks. So here again, if we know that the goalpost is 18 feet wide, right, and we know that this, uh, we know that you know basically, well, we know that the standard deviation of, of the kicks is three, right, just like before. Um, so we know that they're all going to fall within a six standard deviation band. So they're all going to fall within 18 feet. Right, nine feet on either side of the of the average. Then we know that the c sub p equals one. Right, we're just saying again, it's the ratio of the width of the goalpost to the width of the you know distribution of kicks. Okay, um, but let's get rid of this. Um, what we haven't taken into account is the fact that this blue kicker's average kick is right in the middle of the goalpost, and this green kicker's kick is kind of off to the right, right? So, like this kick here, you know, is going to be outside the goalpost, right? You know, any output over here in this range is going to be outside the goalpost. So, that's a problem, but that problem doesn't. Uh, you know, manifest itself if we just look at the ratio of the widths of the goalposts to um, six standard deviations of the process. And then that's really why we have process capability. Process, or that's why we have C sub PK. C sub PK takes into account the process average and where the goalposts are and how those relate to each other. So we can see our process averages here, and we can think about the right goalpost as the upper specification limit, and the left goalpost as the lower specification limit. Um, and again, C sub PK, unlike C sub P, takes into account um, where the process average is with respect to the goalposts. If you look at the formula, it takes into account x bar bar and the upper specification limit and the lower specification limit, and it's going to show us a difference between 
these two kickers, right? So I don't want to get into the math on it anymore, but what I want you to understand is the difference between the two. C sub P, which just looks at the width of the target and the standard deviation or the dispersion of the kicks, would tell you that these two kickers are the same, okay? C sub PK is going to give you a little bit more information. It's also going to take into account um, the process average and the specification limits, and it's going to show you a difference between these two kickers. And it's going to show you that this kicker is superior to this kicker, and that's really the important thing. You might ask yourself in business, well, you know, why wouldn't you always sort of set the dial on your process, um, you know, to the middle so your process average is is centered. Um, on your specification, and you know, that's a good question, you know, you, you would of course try to do this, but there's sometimes when you really can't control exactly what the process average is. For example, some process um, processes are such that the process average is going to drift um, during a batch, uh, so we can, so we, so, you know, so we can't be certain um, that even if we start the process sort of centered, you know, in a particular, you know, dialed into a particular value, that's going to maintain that value. If you think about like a filling process where we're, uh, you know, filling powder into a bottle or liquid into a bottle, and let's say it's a gravity feed process, as you have less and less um, material, right, and, you know, we've got sort of a hopper here of, let's say, material, and we're, you know, we're feeding it into containers, right, it's going to go on like that, you know, that, that, uh, that, that um, level is going to go down throughout the process, right, and so we're going to have less gravity, you know, sort of pushing this material, you know, through the outlet, right, so as the process goes on, the process mean might shift, right, or, you know, we could have, um, maybe we're trying to keep this liquid at a particular temperature, Right? Let's say it's liquid, not powder. And as you get less and less liquid in the vat, um, it becomes harder and harder for you know whatever temperature control we've got to, to do its job. And maybe the liquid sort of heats up um, or cools down, um, you know, throughout the batch. And that you know that affects the viscosity, and, and there that then that kind of affects the average fill level. You know, those are just a couple examples. Um, you know, we could have a situation where we're cutting things and uh, you know the cut the, the the cutter head you know wears out throughout the length of a batch you know all kinds of different examples if you start to think about it so uh, you know that's why the process average may not be equal to um, the center of the specification and again that's something that which process capability index tells us c sub pk